God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. You are my rescuer, my help. O Lord, do not do it. Amen. To pray for our Lord to fight the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Mass today for Tom and Lily Castle. Mass is had of the 18th week in Baltimore. Let us now turn to God our Father. We ask forgiveness for our sins so that we might be better prepared to celebrate the mystery of our Lord. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in what I have done in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In the beginning of the reign of Sidekai, king of Judah, in the fifth month of the fourth year, the prophet Ananias, son of Azor from Gibeon, said to me in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the priest and all the people, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon Within two years, I will restore to this place all the vessels of the temple of the Lord, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, took away from this place to Babylon. And I will bring back to this place Jeconiah, son of Joachim, king of Judah, and all the exiles of Judah who went to Babylon, says the Lord, for I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. The prophet Jeremiah answered the prophet Ananiah in the presence of the priest and all the people assembled in the house of the Lord and said, Amen. Thus may the Lord do. May he fulfill the things you have prophesied by bringing the vessels of the house of the Lord and all the exiles back from Babylon to this place. But now, listen to what I'm about to state in your hearing and the hearing of all the people. From of old, the prophets who were before you and me prophesied war, woe, and pestilence against many lands and mighty kingdoms. But the prophet who prophesies peace is recognized as truly sent by the Lord. 
only when his prophetic prediction is fulfilled. Thereupon the prophet Ananiah took the yoke from the neck of the prophet Jeremiah and broke it and said in the presence of all people, Thus says the Lord, even so, within two years I will break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, from off the neck of all the nations. Sometime after the prophet Ananiah had broken the yoke from off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Go tell Ananiah this. Thus says the Lord, by breaking a wooden yoke, you forge an iron yoke. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, a yoke of iron I will place on the necks of all these nations serving Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and they shall serve him, even the beast of the field I give him. To the prophet Ananiah, the prophet Jeremiah said, Hear this, Ananiah. The Lord has not sent you, and you have raised false confidence in this people. For this, says the Lord, I will dispatch you from the face of the earth. This very year you shall die, because you have preached rebellion against the Lord. That same year, in the seventh month, Ananiah, the prophet, died. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Lord, teach me your statues. Lord, teach me your statues. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Let these turn to me who fear you and acknowledge your decrees. Let my heart be perfect in your statutes that I be not put to shame. No. <laughs> Sinners wait to destroy me, but I pay heed to your decrees. No, no. <laughs> From your ordinances I turn not away, for you have instructed me. Alleluia, alleluia. Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and precede him to the other side of the sea while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up to the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves 
for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once, Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter said to him and replied, Lord, if it's you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water towards Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sing, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. After making the crossing, they came to land at Gennesaret, when the men of that place recognized him. They sent word to all the surrounding country. People brought, him, brought to him all those who were sick and begged him that they might touch only the tassel of his coat and as many as such, it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. The storm represents the trials and tribulations of life and it sets the scene for an encounter between Jesus and his apostles. Those in the boat represent the community of faith. They are afraid, naturally enough, because of what is happening around them. And Jesus appears to them they have uh, all kinds of thoughts, and someone says it's a ghost. And Peter says, if it's you, Lord, command that I come to you. And the Lord said, come. In the midst of our trials and tribulations in life, that same invitation is directed towards each one of us. The Lord continues to invite us to come to him, to not be afraid. And that invitation is something that comes from the heart of the Lord. He wants to heal us. He wants to renew us, to give us courage, and to take away our fear, and to place us in that position where we no longer are afraid to be in relationship with him. To walk on water, uh, I think, means that uh, that person is associated with some special gift in their life that has been received from the Lord. Maybe that of piety or counsel or wisdom or understanding or giving right direction to those who seek it. But that's a very important part of our lives too because it's putting into effect and exercising 
the gifts that the Holy Spirit gives to each one of us. To take away that fear that we might have in times of difficulty, in times of tribulation. At the end of this gospel, we're reminded that Jesus did fulfill what he wanted to do for all of the people. He resumed his mission of healing them. And the people brought the sick and those who needed healing to him even to touch the hem of his garment would heal the people who were able to do that. So to trust in the Lord, to have confidence in what he can do for us, and to believe that he does want us to come to him is something to reflect on in today's gospel reading not to doubt him in any way, or not to doubt what he can do for us in the most difficult of times, but to go like Peter, to take that step. And even though he was distracted, and maybe had less confidence than when he started out, he still trusted that the Lord would reach out to him and bring him safely to him. With confidence in our loving God, we offer our prayers and petitions to him. For our church, may the Lord raise up holy men and women to humbly labor on her behalf. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, in our prayers. For government leaders, may our God of justice guide them in working for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. hear our prayer. For those who are lonely or homebound, May Jesus' healing and consoling hand be upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God's word continue to guide us in truth and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who face financial hardship because of the virus, that they not lose hope but that all people be willing to work together and support one another and find ways for others in this time of need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> for the faithful departed, may the Lord welcome them into the fullness of the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the reposed soul of Tom and Millie Castro, for whom this Mass is offered, for our own family members, our friends, those who have died recently, and all who are called suddenly from this life each day. May all rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Amen. We include also in the celebration of this Eucharist all of those intentions that all of you have called in or written in about or uh, given to us to include in our prayers each time we celebrate the Eucharist. For these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. God, our Father, we make our prayer to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. <laughs> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <laughs> it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things giving us all a share in his fullness for though he was in the form of God he emptied himself and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, we eat, eat this, this bread, bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim your, your death, Lord, Lord Jesus, until you come, come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Gustavo and Michael our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, Saint Mark the Evangelist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our oh, Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And the kingdom, the power, and the glory of your uh, forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace with you, Father. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. You have given us, O Lord, bread from heaven, endowed with all delights and sweetness in every taste. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you, you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Please pray with me our prayer to Our Lady of Guadalupe. Our Lady, our Lady of Guadalupe, in these, in these times, times of tribulation, tribulation we, we turn to you, O Mother. O Mother. See, See with, with compassion the sufferings of your, of your beloved, beloved sons and daughters affected, affected by, by the coronavirus pandemic, pandemic throughout, throughout the entire, entire world. world. As, As your son to have, have mercy on us, bringing, us, bringing healing, healing to those, to those infected, infected and, and protection, protection to all your children. children. Jesus Christ, Savior of all people, grant us courage to accompany and care for the entire world in the, in the wake, wake of sorrow and uncertainty. uncertainty. We seek, we seek refuge, refuge in, you, in you, and according, and according to, to your promise, deliver, deliver us from, from this danger. danger. Amen. Amen. Saint Anthony of Padua, pray for us. Saint Mark the Evangelist, pray for us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. 